I'm Paul Mancano, and I'm joined by Masson Nationals insider Mark Zuckerman to discuss the news that Steven Strasburg scratched from tomorrow's start. And Mark, certainly not what you wanted to hear after Strasburg exited his last performance, appearing to be fully healthy. Yeah, look, this is the thing. After that game on Thursday night in Miami, I was there. He was legitimately encouraged, not with the results. He knew that wasn't right, but he knew that he felt physically good after that. And, you know, the signs were really encouraging. Now, all that said, we've been saying all along, with this surgery, when you come back from it, you really do have to take it day by day. And until he was back out there again five days later, healthy, pitching again, and then until he did it again five days after that, there's always in the back of your mind this question. Really, in my mind, I'm thinking, until he gets through three or four starts in a row, you do have to worry somewhat. Now, they don't know for sure what's going on. He's uh, getting the MRI today. They're still waiting on the results of that. Maybe a little more after the game tonight, but he is going on the IL for now. He's not going to make the start. That's a whole other issue is who's going to start the game. Jackson Tetro is the only AAA starter who's on schedule who could do it. So I would imagine is the odds on favorite, but I think they're still trying to figure that all out. And before that, they got to get through tonight's game. It's, this is a rough stretch they're in, and this is the last thing they needed right now. As they haven't had an off day since last Monday, and they don't have an off day coming up for quite a while as they continue this homestand and facing a tough team in Atlanta. However, the bats have been pretty good. Aside from yesterday where they lost to the Brewers, it felt like they were starting to get things together. We were having the middle of the lineup with Soto and Bell and Nelson Cruz hit, and it felt like the plan all along was finally coming together. Yeah, look, they had a really good couple of days against the Brewers, Friday and Saturday. And it, like you said, this is exactly what they had drawn up going into the season. Not just the hits, but the power. I mean, seven combined homers those two games. And in Saturday's game, you had the big three homer in succession back to back to back. Now on Sunday, it went cold again. Unfortunately, that's been the pattern this year. One good game offensively and a couple of bad ones. But in the bigger picture, they like what some of these guys have been doing lately. Add Lane Thomas to the list. Add Luis Garcia to the list. There is some lineup depth here and multiple guys who are on a hot streak right now. And the feeling has been as the weather heats up, we're in June now, the ball starts to fly, maybe you will see some more consistent offense from this team. Strasburg's injury certainly creates some concerns, but Josiah Gray gets the ball tonight, and he has been pretty good in his last couple starts, just two earned runs over his last three starts, one of their more, more consistent starters. Yeah, and consistency has been the key with him. We've seen from when he was called up last year, he can look really good on any given night. He also can look really rough on other nights, especially giving up home runs. What we've seen over this stretch here is a stretch of consistent excellence from him pitching deeper in games, finishing strong. Sometimes we'll have trouble in the first inning. He's shaking that off and coming back and looking good after that. Now, look, we don't want to look too far ahead here, but it with Strasburg so much of an uncertainty, the focus is on the young starters now, not just for this year, but beyond. And Josiah Gray is close to the top of the list of most important young starters that they have. So he's had success against the Braves earlier this year. Also last year struck out 10 in a start in Atlanta. So maybe a little confidence coming into this one. They're going to need it from him. He is a huge building block for them now as they move forward. And you mentioned it just then, but how important is it for these young starters to go deeper into games, especially considering they haven't had an off day in forever and the pitching is going to be stretched extra thin? Right, and consider that yesterday they had to use Paolo Espino and Evan Lee, their quote-unquote long men in the bullpen, as tandem starters. They're going to be out for a while, probably until Friday's doubleheader. So I would imagine you, you don't want to come to this, but even if he's struggling tonight, you may see Davey have to push Josiah Gray to get close to the 100 pitch mark. They need the work tonight. And Atlanta is probably the hottest team in baseball. They have climbed up to second place in the NL East, but the Nationals back in April did take two out of three from this team in Atlanta. Josiah Gray started one of those games, and they did have one of those games in game one where they poured on the runs. So they have done this, like you said, and yeah, that was early in the year when you know the weather wasn't hot and uh, balls weren't necessarily flying. They put it together there. They won two out of three. That was probably the most encouraging uh, a couple of days that they had had, certainly through the first month, month and a half of the season. What's weird is some of the series they've won this year, they've now taken a series from the Braves. They've taken a series from the Brewers, a first place team. Now the Braves are a different team right now. Like you said, red hot, 11 in a row, but they're also due. You're not going to win every game, right? Eventually they got to lose a game. Maybe it happens tonight. They have a plus 44 run differential in the month of June, which is really incredible. One of another team that until the Phillies lost yesterday, they had a string of a lot of wins. So the NL East appears to be living up to its billing now after struggling for, I would say, the first couple months of the year. And we were kind of all waiting for this to happen. Look, the Mets look like a legitimately good team. They've been running away with it. But you knew in the back of your mind, 
the Braves especially defending World Series champs they were too good to stay down for long they have turned it on the Phillies were a little more uncertain what kind of team were they going to be managerial change and all of a sudden they're red hot we're going to see them this weekend uh, for five games so that's why this is a really really tough week for the Nationals but I think the National League East is going to be up for grabs when it's all said and done I don't think anybody's running away with this division absolutely and there's plenty of season left of course for the things to shake out Mark Zuckerman Masson Nationals insider thanks so much for joining us all right thanks Paul